macro daemon in real flow is a helpful tool for us to create this thick lip edge for fluid simulations. It is especially important for splashes and small scale fluids, um, anything we could call a little bit more macro in general. If you take uh, real life photography, um, like high speed one, um, and uh, you take a photo or a video of splash, you would see the edge is making this thicker lip um, while it's transforming and transforming into tendrils and droplets. So this is one of the key things to make uh, splash look real and uh, fluid simulations in general look real. That is why this was uh, one of the most important things to have or manipulate with whatever we had. And uh, you can obviously work around it a little bit. Uh, however, uh, we needed additional help on that um, inside RealFlow. So that's what we have right now. It's macro, macro daemon. And let me show you how uh, very quickly and importantly pointed out how to work with it the best so you could use the most um, efficient workflow with it. So just very quickly, um, as you can see here, um, it works the same way in general as it should, like surface tension, as you know, which you probably do if you don't. Right now, anyway, surface tension is the one which makes particles um, glue to each other a little bit and uh, make it rounded. So the effect of it is to make it rounded and more smooth uh, overall in the whole body of particles. Um, just sh speaking about the effect of surface tension and surface tension is the key for uh, making realistic fluid simulations in any software. So that is essential thing to have and drag force plays a big role with it uh, when surface tension is really built in realistically. So for that we have now macro and why do I have both of them over here is actually the secret thing I want to tell you, this currently gives you a little bit more speed. Um, while I have this on standard particles, I just wanted to show that it's pretty fast even on standard particles, but you could do that on uh, Diverso as well, which is by, by itself much more fast because it uses GPU. And uh, to, to one thing to side note, um, when you use Diverso, um, for splashes use SPH because this is this solver is much more accurate with um, splashes um, than PBD. Of course you can use granule and all of that but we're talking about splashes right now right? So when you go to the macro daemon um, you see it's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Anyways, uh, surface tension strength is strength. As you now see, I set it to zero um, just in a moment. Uh, cavities detection ratio is the same thing as you see in Sheeter. So uh, the bigger uh, number over here uh, will search for the bigger radius uh, between the particles to fill the holes so you won't have like unnatural holes forming and also the smaller ones will help you to make realistic holes which you eventually want to see a uh, splash to break um, and tendrils break up that's as well the value um, you have, uh, it is pretty much the same thing, but slightly different. So uh, the bigger values uh, will help you to break it down a little bit and uh, smaller values uh, will not, uh, will keep, will keep those tendrils growing. Uh, so you need to find the balance and the balance is found usually, there's no right or wrong answer. The balance is always found uh, by you actually working through it and seeing what works and what doesn't. So 
the last and most important thing. So how do you make it more fast? Uh, basically, um, work through additional self extension. Uh, set it, set uh, self extension to zero on macro, and then add up a simple self extension like other uh, one we have, and work through it. Uh, so the the trick is actually um, that you can animate it, uh, which is always the best thing. You can animate this by pressing on and off by keys and then go edit curve and you can edit over here. Uh, and um, do not be afraid to go to very high numbers as well, because these will mimic a smaller scale and also please be sure to set up the right scale. So right now I have 0.6, which is smaller scale, but even then I play with higher numbers. So all of these are very related. I will not go into depth with that. There's Learn Design Masterclass if you want to go really deep with all of the little and big stuff. Um, so, but this is what you need to know right now. Make sure you know about the scale. You can also go and see um, I have the helpful tips collected for you for free, so you can just enjoy that as well. And uh, yeah, so that's really, really important. Uh, that is how you work with Macro Daemon. And um, basically, uh, that is it. And uh, just play around with values and uh, make sure uh, you have the perfect balance between the tendrils um, and uh, the thickness of the lip. Uh, an overall unified surface over here. So I hope uh, this you found this useful and I'm really excited for you to try this and create your own splashes and this is this goes beyond of splashes. It's anything um, anything you can think of. And honestly, I do encourage you to play around and, uh, just always stay creative and explore more.